Hey, Jennifer. Hey, everyone. Hi there. Did the time of the maintainers meeting change? No, this is the time. But uh, oh. Peter said he was not going to be able to make it this week. Okay, because when I look at the calendar that is on um, linked off of GitHub, it shows 6 a.m. And I thought that when I looked at it before, it showed uh, in my time zone as 9 a.m. But uh, so it might depend how you're looking at the calendar. Um, yeah, it says 9 a.m. Isn't it 9 then? Yes. Okay, then we are on time. Yeah, it changes at least. Uh, yeah, it changes for us uh, when data savings kicks in there. So okay. we don't have data savings here. Yeah, just... just just to to show that. Yeah. Sorry, show what? Oh, I just did a did a print screen to show what what it's showing, because yeah, I I don't know why it would show that. It's showing. Um, I'm reasonably certain that this showed nine a.m. before. Now it's showing six a.m. But anyway. Yeah. Okay, I think maybe we can get uh, started. I I think uh, since Peter's not here, maybe the Mikhail and Izuru also didn't have anything to discuss. So. Uh, I we can kind of oblige to show this. So here is the uh, uh, antitrust policy notice and the hyperledger code of conduct. Uh, I haven't really created a new page this week, uh, so this I'm just showing this from previous week. Uh, but all participants must abide by these codes of conduct. And uh, yeah, we can maybe just do our own uh, sync now, Jennifer. Sure, sure. Uh... So I have, this week I've been uh, getting the, submitting the code that I had done uh, before I went on vacation um, and making some pull requests from it. Uh, that's the changes to the um, CI and the network.sh script. Uh, and I've been reading the Papers? Sorry, Jennifer. Th this one, uh, are you referring to this one? Or yes. Is it yeah, that one, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it, it actually takes a while to do that because you have to make the changes in the CI because I'm not that familiar with GitHub uh, and mm -hmm. doing things in the CI takes a long time. Um, yeah. But uh, other than that, I've been reading the uh, papers on SATP and looking at the code for. Uh, what to, where to get the code for the operators module. Um, I actually did have a question on that. Um, on the SAP core document? Yeah, no, not specifically on the on the on the common operators primitives. Um, there's not sure. very fortunately there's not very many of them. Uh, but two are lock asset and pledge asset. And I've mm -hmm. seen in the RFC documents, sometimes you say that those two can be used either or. Is pledge, so I'm wondering if we strictly need both. Uh, uh, which, which document are you looking at? So let me see if I can pull it up quickly. Yeah, I have the page open. I hope you can see it. So if you can just tell me, I can navigate to the page. Yeah, I I can send you the I can probably send you the link later. But there was one diagram that I saw in the RFCs that said that uh, pledge asset and lock asset could be used. Okay, I'm trying to remember where it was. Was it? And I was wondering if 
if they are interchangeable, whether we need both or whether some um, ledgers implemented mm -hmm. pledge asset, which was yeah. preferable. So uh, I don't know which particular document you look at. Uh, in the formats, I think we have, we do specify uh, the format for those two things. Let me go to assets. We could exchange. Here we have a asset lock and asset claim defined. And mm -hmm. if you go to transfer, we have asset pledge defined. So perhaps this is what you looked at? Or yeah. you seen it? Oh. Yeah, I'll, I don't have the link to it, but I can find, I sure. can see if I can find it again and send it. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have that diagram here. Let me see if I have, we have in the protocols. I'm sure. These documents are great, by the way. I uh -huh. think I wonder okay. how yeah. to, mm, they're kind of tucked away under Cacti Reavers RFCs. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is these, uh, so, uh, as as uh, I you know I gave you this couple of presentations a few weeks ago. We these are two complete distinct projects with different distinct histories just coming together. So mm -hmm. uh, what you have under uh, Beaver RFC is entirely associated with the Beaver part of the code, not mm -hmm. not the character part of the code. That's what we are trying to kind of unify here. But uh, that does not necessarily mean that uh, you know we, we have to like strike some kind of medium. It's it's basically about taking all of the good ideas that are there in both projects and putting them away. If it means that uh, a particular feature is then uh, just going to be, you know, all cactus because it just happens to be superior to all of Beaver, yeah, we'll take that. Or if it's okay. other way around, we'll take that. That That's how we want to you know, do it. So the uh, distinction between locks and pledges uh, is that... Um, there it is. When Alice uh, pledges or locks? Right there. When the, uh, the generic asset transfer flow. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm trying to remember. I think I think I was the one who made this diagram, but it's been a few years. Uh, let me just take a look at this. Ah, uh, yeah. So okay. So let me make the distinction between uh, uh, log and pledge based on what kind of protocol they support. Uh, I talked about two kinds of atomic transactions, right? There's an uh, atomic exchange and then there's an atomic transfer. Uh, so in an atomic exchange, what you have is, uh, you have uh, two assets in two separate networks which mm -hmm. remain on that network, but just change hands, just in opposite directions. Whereas in an asset transfer, you have an asset moving from one network to another network. Here it says ledger, again, you can think of ledger, uh, just loosely ledger can be synonymous with network. Um, so the when we use the term lock, we are using it in the context of an exchange, uh, which means that an asset in either network has to be first logged, and then the parties have to verify that they're logged, and then there is uh, some kind of a revelation whereby they can claim those two assets and thereby uh, make sure that the exchange is atomic. That is, uh, and this has to be done in a in a secure way. Mm -hmm. In an asset transfer, we can call the same thing as a lock, but we just call it a, uh, we just call it a pledge because it's uh, uh, it's being pledged to somebody in a in a different network. Uh, it just happened to be a different kind of terminology that we used. Now, if you see in the here, we say pledge slash lock. Uh, so uh, semantically, it means the same thing. It's just that uh, in our the data structure that we have defined, we are using the term pledge strictly in a transfer context, whereas we are using the term lock in an exchange context. That yeah. Means... Well, yeah, but an exchange is two pledges. <laughs> Correct. You're, you're yeah. exactly right. I mean, it's a uh, we can. I think uh, we, we can. Uh, th th this is a good uh, when we're creating this core operators module. It's a good good time to just unify all the 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 terminology. Um, we will still have to figure out how to uh, write the, the data structures and the operations so that 
let's say we just call it a log. Hmm? Okay. Let's forget the term place, say we call it a log. We'll still have to make sure that the log can be interpreted in a transfer context as intended for somebody in a different network and in an exchange context for somebody in the same network. So mm -hmm. we have to make sure the structures are created appropriately and they're interpreted uh, in the right way, in the right context. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's there. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, uh, if if you would, if you need any more uh, clarifications, uh, I can. Um, unfortunately, I uh, uh, I've had to do a few like uh, personal things this week, uh, medical stuff. So uh, I uh, I need to spend uh, some time till the weekend to finish some of my regular piece of work. But early next week, let's say on Monday, if you want, I can uh, again have a session with you and go over. Uh, some of those uh, presentations where we talk about the the protocols. If uh, just so you know, if if you need any uh, clarification about uh, what the core operators are exactly doing and how to disambiguate the the different terms, like like we try to do with pledge and log here, I'm happy to set a session with you on on Monday for that. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, that was my only question that that that's come up so far. Um... But other than that, I'm just trying to make a make some decisions on frameworks and so on, and and just right. basically try to swim uh, in the coding environment, which is a whole bunch of things that I don't understand all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's a very complicated piece of software at this point. We're trying to make it simpler. <laughs> if you can do that, I think, uh, yeah, if you can do that to to some extent, it'll be mission accomplished mostly. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking at this. Uh, we are already, I think, in this phase, right? So, by the way, I already submitted the valuation. Uh, Min usually asks us, prompts us for that. Um, so, yeah, we, we're, we're pretty happy with, with 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 your pickup and everything you've been doing. So, I think you're definitely, uh, we've had some uh, pretty unenthusiastic mentees. <laughs> because who have been uh, uh, people who have been uh, very so busy in the regular work that they could not devote as much time as they wanted. But mm -hmm. uh, I think you you've been great. So hoping to continue that way and uh, get get something concrete achieved uh, by the end of the project. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, I'm just trying to see what else we can tick off here. Nothing uh, actually. So sorry? this is yeah. nothing really. Uh. So we've got, uh, so it looks like I'm already quite behind. I, I'll try and work on um, getting a skeleton done uh, for the, uh, and submitted this week. Sure. I think you've already done this, right? I think uh, I uh, I saw you had a comment. I didn't fully read your comment on Discord, but you said you tried to run the different examples. Oh, yes. Well, just... Um, well, it was more that I got them to run in CI, and I was really happy uh, about that okay. because my concern was that they wouldn't run mm -hmm. because they hadn't been run for a long time. Right. And you submitted a, an action to make it run weekly, right? Yes. Great. Okay, I'm going to mark this as, a, as an achieved. And we still have to work on the design. I think, uh, yeah, I saw you were having some discussions with... Uh, Everybody really about the what kind of API to use. Uh, within Beaver, at least among the different viewer modules, we have been using uh, gRPC so far. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think uh, this is not a decision we can make today because there's nobody else here, uh, mm -hmm. at least from the character side. So uh, let's continue the discussion on Slack. Uh, sorry, on Discord, and uh, maybe we can decide on something next week. In any case, the the design is agnostic of the particular technology you use so you can just sort of create the uh, an interface and then you can um, specify it in, in the right uh, language I agree I think I'm getting a little bit hung up on uh, framework choices <laughs> just pick one yeah, that's yes. usually the way to go pick one and we can keep it rating over it
Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Not for me. Uh, Sandeep, do you have anything else? Uh, I think you already looked at what Jennifer submitted. I think you already approved it. So, yeah. Any other yeah. questions? Any suggestions? No. No. Okay. Cool. So, Jennifer, let me know if you uh, uh, want a clarification session on uh, on Monday. I'd be happy to go over some of the other other slides, or maybe even go over the older slides again with you. So, let me know, and I can. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll only schedule a call if you say you want me to on Monday. Okay, sounds at good. At this time. Okay. All right. Okay. Then I guess we can we can close and uh, save ourselves uh, fourteen minutes. Thank you. Hi everyone. Hey, uh, sorry. By the way, I just noticed Mikhail is here. Hey, Mikhail. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I I don't have anything hey. more. So. So yeah, we can finish. I just went to listen. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Thanks, everyone. See you next Thanks. Week. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye.